Over the past few days, we've seen at the margin some of the momentum uh, out of AI themes come to a little bit of a pause. And I wanted to have a look at Meta today, which I think has plenty of upside left, but um, also maybe in the near term, a bit of a pause. Um, from a fundamental perspective, we we really do like the company and, you know, depending on the potential ruling here on TikTok, which is kind of like a wild card, could be like kind of like a uh, sort of a boost um, for the company. If we were to see a TikTok ban, I don't know. I have no uh, edge on that. But um, either way, you know, we do think this company can can do a lot in, for, in terms of in terms of AI. I'm personally actually not a huge fan of, of the company in terms of some of the things they do. But when I look at it financially, you know, I, I have to say that I do think there's more upside. So if we look at this very simple chart, this is just the price of Meta, M-E-T-A, formerly known as Facebook. Um, we can see on the weekly chart, this is the weekly chart, not the daily chart, that if we draw and just connect the dots, of the previous highs, we technically have plenty uh, more uh, to go until we get to that point. Now, of course, that's the weekly long-term chart, so that does not mean we're going to get to these upper levels here around a thousand, you know, like anytime soon. That could easily take, you know, uh, a year or, or something like that. We, I don't know. The point is more that I do think ultimately we we we, we could get there. I think it's a high probability. Um, but I'll also mention that I do think we're overbought here in the near term. And it's not just the daily charts. To give you kind of an idea here, uh, daily momentum, we're already starting to see that wane. But even the weekly charts, as I just showed you a second ago, so you look at very simple momentum things like relative strength index, which has never been at the levels that it is right now. So we could easily see some consolidation that, however, would, in our view, be quite constructive. Um, Specifically, what does that look like? Let me go back to a daily chart and give you a little bit of perspective on this. Um, this might seem a little bit far-fetched right now, but uh, typically speaking, when, when, when you break out, you have some sort of a retest. Doesn't uh, Again, doesn't seem likely right now, but I would not be surprised if we get something uh, you know, in the order of just north of 10%. Uh, God, we can have 20%. They would still be uh, you know, very healthy, um, we kind of have this current price action here in a little bit of no man's land. Again, uh, momentum is waning. So maybe we first have to get you know down to 400. Maybe it's 420. I don't know exactly, of course. But I, I would look to be a buyer at those levels uh, in something like Meta. And this is also very specifically what our market rover is telling us. We're going to showcase you how we can use our technology to find new trends uh, and emerging trends and uh, and write them until they reach their ultimate price targets uh, and get trade alerts along the way using our proprietary technology. If you're interested in using technology as a as a as a guide, helping you lever your abilities, uh, maybe save time, get more perspective, I would urge you to show us, show up in this week's uh, training research call. It's completely open and free to everyone. Uh, so make sure you sign up for that. It's uh, I think it's down below or the next screen as always where you can do that. With that, have a great day and we'll see you soon.